Congratulations! You've been chosen to be a presenter at ISE Expo 2016. We appreciate your commitment and want your presentation to compel your attendees to give you an a rating. So here are some tips to create a dynamic presentation. Good speakers create good listeners. So the first step is to develop a strong pregame checklist. Spend time planning your presentation, slides, and interactive ways to keep the audience engaged. Be prepared to be spontaneous or go off script if needed. People love presenters who are approachable. Remember to introduce yourself early in the presentation. Include a slide showing your name, photograph, and relevant credentials, Twitter handle, Facebook, and LinkedIn page, as well as a link to your company website. Begin your presentation by telling your audience what your topic is and what you will be covering. Create an agenda slide outlining the main points of your seminar. Audiences like to have a guidepost. And a whiff them, what's in it for me, so they know their time will be well spent learning from you. Many times it helps to set the stage by explaining the problem attendees may be facing. You should use third-party stats to prove you aren't trying to sell them anything. When they understand the real problem at hand, they'll be ready to hear the solutions, learnings you propose, explain the problem, and then describe the solution. The structure could be something like this. Problem. What problem is your audience facing? Cause. What is the underlying cause of the problem? Effect. How much time, money, and frustration is the problem causing? Solution. What are the suggestions you recommend to fix the problem, and how are they going to do it? Create a slideshow for each main point. Visual aids help with the learning process and also keep your audience engaged. Be intentional about speaking to the audience rather than the screen. Be so familiar with your visual aids that the only reason you look at them is to point something out. And make sure your slides are easy to read so that everyone in the room can see them. Practice beforehand. Rehearse everything out loud and time yourself along the way in order to stay paced and not rushed. Adhere strictly to your time limit. You'll be surprised how quickly that time goes. Leave plenty of time for Q&A. Encourage questions with your eyes and your body language. Respond to questions politely, good-humoredly, and briefly. Take a quick moment to compose your thoughts before responding if you need to, but do not fill the moment with uhs, ums, and ahs. Finally, wrap it up with a call to action. At the end of your presentation, summarize your main points and give a strong concluding remark that reinforces why your information is value. Close with a challenge statement that calls the audience to continue seeking more information about the topic. Other helpful tips. When you are in front of an audience, try to remember the four C's. Confidence, credibility, clarity, and control. Dress neatly and appropriately the rule of thumb is to dress one level nicer than your audience will be dressed. Darker, solid colors look best and won't distract the audience. Make frequent eye contact with the audience. Engaging them directly with your eyes transfers a bit of your energy to them and keeps them focused on your content. Making eye contact says that you are in charge of the room and your presentation. Stand up straight. Avoid the tendency to slouch or drape yourself around the podium. Plant your feet firmly on the floor with your weight evenly distributed on both feet. Pace yourself. Speak clearly, articulately, loudly, and choose your words carefully using appropriate vocabulary for your audience. Movement should be slow, meaningful, and with purpose. Strong hand gestures demonstrate authority and control. Be sure to walk around the room, moving towards the audience when making a point, drawing attention inward to you. Show enthusiasm in your voice by using humor and voice inflection to keep the audience interested. Avoid just reading your materials. Pausing in between major statements will allow your statement to sink in and give the audience a chance to think about what was said 
before moving on to the next point. Remember to have fun. Everyone is here to see your presentation. Keep them engaged, relax, and have a good time. And then watch those rave reviews come in on the attendee surveys. 